Oh man, Ty, it's a hot one today, isn't it? Wouldn't it be nice if we had a nice, refreshing smoothie of some sort? What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and we're at the shop today and it's a hot one outside, it's like 100 degrees. I was thinking, I was like, man, I kinda wouldn't mind a nice, healthy, refreshing smoothie. One of the issues is, is we don't actually have a blender here at the shop. So I figured we'd start with the next best thing, which is my Honda Civic. So this is my 96 Honda Civic. It has a K24 built motor, all wheel drive, and it has this nice, pretty, big uh, Garrett G42 1200 turbocharger. And uh, when we were at a recent event, I had a vacuum line pop off of the intake manifold. We were running about 40 pounds boost and it got sucked into the turbocharger. So as you can see, still fine. I mean, it still spins and does all that type of stuff. So we have a, uh, a replacement uh, section for this on its way. Like I said, I kind of wanted a smoothie. Figured that, you know, we could give this a try and uh, we could see, can we make a smoothie with a turbo Honda Civic? All right, guys, before we get started with uh, making a smoothie, I just want to let you guys know that today, Saturday, August 15, 2020, is the last day that you could actually get entered to win our 1997 Turbo B16 swapped uh, EK Honda Civic hatchback. Uh, details of how you could win that thing can be found on MotionOnTV.com, but every $1 you spend equals two automatic entries. You buy some t-shirts, hats, stickers, whatever, but uh, I'm ready for a smoothie. All right, guys, I know you're thinking it, but I do not condone this. Do not try this at home. Professionals. Professionals. In a, in a Closed environment. Closed environment. I, I don't agree, but, All right, well, let's, but we're doing it. Let's skip that. Let's see what's on the menu. So right here we have some grapes. We have some strawberry. We have some non-fat Greek yogurt, vanilla. Uh, we have some carrots. We have some celery and we have some bananas. Uh, we have a little bit of milk. Yeah, I think we're, we're basically milk. just gonna start take, taking some orders. So let's see, Ty, we have a, uh, we basically have strawberry banana. We have a grape, celery, and carrots. We have what just kind of a, a banana that? and yogurt. Is that like the antioxidant? Cleanse. Yeah, we'll get you a little <laughs> cleanse. We'll get you some, some celery, carrots, and grapes. I would say that's the healthy option. We have the strawberry banana with the vanilla yogurt. And uh, so what, what would you like? I mean, I'm a big fan of the strawberry banana myself. All right, so we got one strawberry banana. Yeah. All right, Ronnie. Ronnie, what do you want? Yeah, I'll do a strawberry banana as oh, well. Oh, strawberry banana? Yep, with All a couple right. of grapes in there. Oh, okay, whoa, couple, couple razzle, razzle, razzle dazzle, yeah. huh? Yeah. Spice it up a little bit. All right, River, what do, River? You, what do you want? I'll take one of everything. I'm going to spice oh. it up. Oh, so you just want it all in I, there. I want it so all. You're just, you're just I wanna, getting the ultimate I want to try the maybe, ultimate. Maybe we have a little uh, little engine oil in there, too. Let's Something put like some, that. some grease yeah. in there. Add a little bit of Lube that. Lube 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 that's, that's, Lube race, that's race oil. So. Yeah. Oh, the race tell. oil is where it's at. It like grapes and everything, yeah. too. So, uh, so yeah, we're gonna get ready to do all this. So one of the things that I wanna do is obviously we've got to disconnect the intercooler and then we got to run a little pipe down here so we don't make a huge mess in the engine bay. And then I also wanna clean out the inside of the turbo. So I have a little, uh, some soapy water solution through here. So we're gonna clean that all out, but uh, that's probably gonna be some boring stuff, but uh, we're, gonna get, we're gonna get to blending. So we got the intercooler off and if you look way, way deep down in there, I need to get a camera that zooms a little bit better. There is plenty of, of vacuum line chunks in there. It looks like a mouse was like making a nest in there. Yeah, that's pretty bad. All right, loading up. I think these are food safe gloves. I think. COVID approved. All right, so should we do grapes first? These are soft. Or I think you should go with these before you chop your fingers off. See how, how yeah. well it chops? Yeah.
doesn't look too bad. All right, so this is what we got. We have some carrots, celery at the bottom. Uh, the strawberries, it's really sketchy. I think if I cut the strawberries up like in half, um, but it's just we. I don't want to stick my finger in there to like push it in like I need to. No. So I think what, I mean, that, that makes sense, right? <laughs> um, but I think what, I, what we need to do is we need to have like a clear tube. You know how like some blenders where you just put stuff in there and then you have like a little thing where you push it and ram it in there. So we could ram it in there with that, but I almost want like a little housing. So if we had like a, like a four inch coupler and then we could just kind like of- Like a clear one. Like a clear one where you could see some stuff. But, yeah. You could jam it in. So this is our, this is a little bit of banana. It's yogurt, milk, and uh, celery. You ready for this? What do you think that little, is? oh, that's probably a strawberry seed. It's honestly not bad. It's a little warm. I wonder, if, uh, wonder what the IATs were. All right, Ronnie? Nope. Come on. Nope. All right, no, River. River said he wanted one of everything, and you gotta go back to work here soon. Oh, you want a new spoon? We'll do, we'll do this one. All right, I'm gonna go grab you a new spoon. <laughs> Actually, here, I'll just give you this no, one. No, that's not Yeah, yogurt spoon. Here, we'll give you the yogurt spoon. Here you go, River. Okay, so you took a little dip. So you took like a little one. You gotta mix it up in there. Oh yeah, I forgot to mix it. Okay, so you see that? Right there. Whew, okay, here we go. Oh, that's, that's, not, not, that's not that bad. It's not, it's, it's not a little bit bad, warm, it's, it's like lukewarm. Ooh. Then you probably got some celery. Got a little, little bit of oil in there. There's, no, there ain't no oil. This thing burns clean, man. <laughs> oh, All right, God. so we're gonna work on uh, rigging up some sort of contraption where we could actually jam stuff, because I want like a delicious tasting smoothie. So we came up with a new solution to, uh, so we basically took a paint cup, cut off the top so it fits tight around uh, the compressor housing, cut a little hole, and we're basically gonna be able to put stuff in there and then jam it with a carrot, so that way we don't have our fingers in the way. Check out this innovation right here. And I didn't have a big enough hose clamp, so we just had to use two of them. Like a three inch hose clamp and a, Oh, look at that. Custom. All right, well, I think wow. it'd be kind of funny to like drill a hole and like put the GoPro in there too. It'd probably flick a bunch of stuff yeah. on it.
Alright, boys. Ty, what do you think? About. It definitely works a lot better. Oh, it, yeah. Like, sucks. No, I mean, it's, it's sucking it in. Yeah. It's literally like a blender now because just throwing stuff in there, like, it'll saw the carrot. Like, I could buzz carrots in that thing all day, but you actually need to give it, like, a little bit of a, uh, you know, give it a chance. And then I think this is literally, like, perfect. Look at that. So it was eating it. Um, I don't know if I want this one. I want that one. You I want like that's more strawberry banana, I felt. That's Woo. more milk. Like that one is more milk. All you, right. can have, you can have the milk and I'll have the smoothie. I mean, that's honestly not I, bad. You ready? I don't have a strong stomach, so this is. Don't no. It's literally. A, it's, I know. It's I just know. A it's just the idea. Just messing with me a little bit. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna. Yeah, this one's more like milky. eggy. Yeah, you put too much milk in that one. I think this one's more. Well, it's it sucked all the milk. Oh man, that one looks good. All right, here we go. Ready? All right, here. You want to do it together? Cheers. All right, cheers, mate. Yeah, like I would eat it. You need to try this one now. You know, it had like a water to air, like it like went through oh, and if, got cold. If we put ice in it, I think we need to go get some ice. Like, if this had ice, it would legit be a good. Yeah. Right, I want to try ties. That one looks a little. This one it looks. Tastes, it tastes like strawberry banana. It tastes just like strawberry banana. Oh wow, that's. <laughs> I mean, that's actually pretty good. Like really, this one's really good. Mine's a little. It definitely. When I put the milk up to it, it just like. Well, you got some things on the bottom. That's why. Hmm. Ooh, yeah, it just tastes like milk. It, it's like milk. This one's definitely. That's that's the move that's right a there. That's smoothie right there. That's actually a smoothie, so. Well, did we answer the ultimate question? Will it blend? <laughs> Will it blend? <laughs> Can we make a smoothie? Can you make a smoothie with a turbo? And the answer is yes, and I honestly don't think it made it any worse than it already was. So, I don't know, I don't think anybody's ever uh, made a smoothie with a $3,300 turbo. Um, but uh, like I said, this was, it was kind of an accident uh, it vacuum line popped off 40 pounds of boost and this thing ate a vacuum line I'll show you guys a, a picture of the inside of the intercooler It's just it looks like a mouse was trying to make a nest with like a chewed up vacuum line in there um, I don't know should we go get some ice kind of feel like we need some ice I mean, We don't have ice and that's far in. No, it'll, it'll be all right. I mean we got a little bit of time. That's honestly that was a good smoothie It Came out significantly better than I thought I'll be honest. I did not expect it I mean, that makes sense. It just, I mean, something about your brain just tells you that that shouldn't taste like that out of there. It just shouldn't work. It, <laughs> it, it honestly tasted pretty good. So we didn't even really get to the healthy one because that was kind of the first one, but uh, the camera is getting hot now. So we're going to let it cool off and we're going to decide if we're going to get some ice or not. Are you over here or what? You hungry? <laughs> You're making a whole meal now? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, this is that's uh, real nice. How's it taste? You wanna try it? Does it taste boosted or what? You, this one's the good one. That's that one good. not so good? That one was the first one. That's this like was the second carrot. one. And this was the third. Well, this was this Yeah, this was carrots and celery and stuff. <laughs> this one, it ate all my milk. And then this one is like yogurt, strawberry, banana, banana grapes. grapes. Hey. Honestly, it's pretty, you have to try it. All the sweet it. stuff. I mean, Can, might as well. I, that's amazing. <laughs> Oh, you could use this spoon right yeah, here. Yeah, that's just the Peter spoon. This is just the yogurt spoon. You ready? The yogurt spoon. You could try the good one. Yeah, yeah, try the good one. All right, let's try it here. Not bad. <laughs> I mean, really? Honestly, like, not bad. You're expecting a lot worse. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> definitely are. You're like, it's gonna taste like metal, some exhaust, some oil, oil or something. anything. <laughs> it's all in here, but no, no, it's not bad. Yeah, when you look not at bad. when you look at the little mess over here on the floor. But yeah, you got a bit of a mess going on. Well, we were just trying stuff out, you know. I mean, it's prototype. I mean, the turbo looks happy. So what we did <laughs> I mean, is why we buy a, why buy a, why spend eight hundred dollars on a Vitamix when you can spend thirty five hundred dollars <laughs> on a G forty two and make a giant mess. I a mean, giant mess. Yeah. But honestly, that that wasn't bad at all. We need to get some more people to come come yeah, try this. Right, so now that we're uh, we're all done making our smoothies for a little while at least, we got to clean up shop. So I'm gonna fire back up and run the pressure on.
that's how you keep uh, proper maintenance on your blender. Did you hear this spool? Got the turbo all cleaned up. Looks like brand new other than the wheels. I honestly don't even think it really messed it up and it it still just spins fine. Like I don't think we chipped any teeth or they were already pretty much chipped. So uh, I definitely think I need to get a different intercooler or figure out how to clean that one out. I probably just need to get a different intercooler. But uh, yeah, we have another turbo on its way from Garrett and uh, this thing was absolutely, absolutely ripping when it hit that, when it ate that vacuum line. <laughs> But uh, again, if you guys have not got entered, giveaway does end Saturday, which is today, the 15th, August 15th. And uh, if this is like three or four months down the road and this video somehow goes viral and you guys like what you guys see around the shop, we got a bunch of projects and all wheel drive Civics and two JZ swap Mustangs and cool little project cars like this, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, comment, let me know if you want me to see more stupid stuff like this or maybe like you know but uh, i think that's honestly pretty cool too i've always kind of thought like thought about it like that'd be kind of funny and i never really had a turbo where you're like well i kind of want to sacrifice this thing right now and because this ate the vacuum line and it it was already kind of messed up anyhow i was like screw it let's do it so uh yeah again huge shout out to garrett uh you know they've been on board with me for a couple years now and uh, if you guys have seen the video of this thing on the dyno sounds amazing that thing sounds amazing the supra all that type of stuff but uh Again, pre really appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.